Hey guys, welcome to Barak Mitsubishi. My name is Andrew and today we'll be looking at a 2018 Jeep Cherokee Longitude. As you can see, it's got this really aggressive look, especially with the front grille and uh, those really, really slim line LED daytime running lights and headlights. It does look really good. You've also got the LED um, over here, just below the headlights, and you've also got the fog lights as well. Now, it does look really good and I do love the color as well. White, even though it's a standard color, it does look good. Um, when when the car is actually tinted um, and obviously clean as you can see uh, now this car I don't believe is tinted I do think it just has the privacy glass but give us a call ask more questions about that I'll probably suggest that you do if it doesn't have any now by just looking at it I'll try and come close so you guys can have a look but there's actually no stone chips whatsoever there's no damage to the front which shows you that the previous owner has taken care of it so I'll just zoom in so you guys can have a look yourself. So it's really, really clean at the front, as you can see. And I do love this. It does look amazing. I'll try and... So I'll, I kind of like turned on the lights so you can see what it looks like. Obviously in, in videos it's very hard to see, but the LED daytime running light is actually on and the headlights is also on. Now looking at the first alloy wheel, as you can see there's no damage whatsoever uh, to that wheel which is a good sign and you also get heaps of tread on that tire. Now indicators on the side mirror, it leaves the side panels clear which is also an advantage and you've got the badging on the, si on the side door as well. There's no scratches or damage to the, side of the, uh, to the side of the vehicle which is a good sign and you've got the fuel cap on the right hand side. You've also got the roof rails on the top which is easier to add the roof racks if you wanted to do so. Second alloy wheel, same thing, there's no damage or scratches whatsoever, which is also a good sign. Now by clicking the key twice, you'll see that the tailgate will open automatically, which is so easy to use, especially if you got your hand, uh, if you go shopping or anything, you've got, you're holding the shopping bags, it's easier to either press it or the actual button or just do it through the remote before you actually walk to the car. Now you do get your four rear sensors as well, and you've got heaps of storage as well, or it's space. You've also got your spare wheel over here, which I believe it is a full tire, which is obviously what everyone wants, and a uh, and a set of tools. You've also got that blind privacy uh, cargo blinder as well, if you wanted to put that on. And to, so to turn to actually close the boot, you've got two options. You can click on that button over here. Or you can do it through the remote, just like I've showed you. You've also got two keys. And you've got the badging of 4x4 and the long suit on the right hand side. And your factory camera is right over here as well. Now third wheel, that's usually the most common wheel that gets scratched. So I can already see that it's been scratched over here. But like I said, it's a common thing with used vehicles. It's nothing that will make the car look ugly. And like I said, the exterior of the car is pretty in good condition. There's no damage whatsoever. Something minor like that does not make you, does not make the car look ugly or anything. It's just minor stuff, it's a used vehicle. Now I've got the badging on the left-hand side as well. And the fourth wheel, same thing. There's no damage or scratch to that wheel whatsoever. So realistically, the only wheel that's damaged or scratched is that one, but it's not even damaged. It's just like minor scratches. Now let's have a look inside. You'll see that the seats are actually in good condition as well. There's no damage or stains whatsoever, which is a good sign. Just shows you that the previous owner has taken care of it. And that is the driver's seat. So that's the main seat that actually gets used. Now, if we were look in the back seats, you'll see that it's actually in really good condition. It looks like it hasn't been used either. You've also got your carpet mats in there, so it's uh, uh, an advantage. Some cars don't come with it. However, this does, and you've got this white stitching going alongside this, the seats and the doors, which does make it look nice. I'll show you what it looks like from here as well. So you've got your engine, uh, so you can put the keys over here. I'll just start the engine. So this car actually has really low kilometers, hence why the condition of the vehicle is that good from the outside. It only has 47,499. 
I'm pretty sure that car will sell quick. You've got the stitching as well over here. You've got heaps of storage as well. Automatic uh, windows on the right hand side with your central locking and also you've got your headlight settings over here. Indicators are on the left hand side and wipers on the right hand side and cruise control settings are on the right hand side of the steering wheel with the seek mode on the left hand side. And steering wheel looks good as well, can't see any damage to your steering wheel which is a good sign or like your normal uh, discoloration that usually comes with used vehicles but this is actually pretty good. Now you've got your system over here, so you've got your climate, compass, media, radio, phone and you've also got that more settings if you want to, you can dim the mirror through here which is actually really uh, interesting and cool. You've got your hazard lights and this over here is to turn off those parking sensors if you want to do that. Now there was a camera so once I put this in reverse you see the camera will pop out, it's just easier to park. You've also got your central uh, central uh, air conditioning over here, which has your dual um, AC. So you've got your speed, temperature, and mode, and you've also got your traction control from here. You can turn off the screen by just clicking that button over here. You've got your 12 volt socket. You've also got your SD memory card, AUX USB, and you've got your forward driving settings, which you've got sand and mud, sport, snow, and auto. You've also got your electric handbrakes. You'll see that. Uh, when you go to drive, all you have to do is turn it off by just pushing it inside. But actually that's interesting because when you put it in park, it turns on by itself. So it's so much easier as well. It does, that does um, it open, it turns on the handbrake by itself. So it's just pretty, pretty much easier, especially if you're on, you're on a hill. Now looking, I'll just turn the camera around so, around so you can have a look at the passenger seats and the back seats. Like I said, it is in good condition. Um, no damage, no scratches, no um, stains. There's another 12 volt and USB socket in there, which is also an advantage. Um, that's pretty much it from the inside and out. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Andrew. Give us a call at 9907 triple uh, five to book an inspection or ask us questions about the vehicle stuff that I haven't covered and ask us about the mechanical protection plan as well. We'll cover the vehicle for five years or 200,000 kilometers. We'll also provide you 10 years roadside assistance. That's actually pretty long. And same thing with the hydro pack. Ask us about the hydro pack because a car like that, you would want to protect it, peace of mind. And also um, you need to protect your investment. It protects the paint from outside. It protects the seats from inside from any stains. And also it will in that pack, if you decide to get it, you do have tint as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Andrew and our number is 9907